And last we'd heard, Asha was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Gah, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. No. The Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. There's only so much we can do right now, guys. Assholes. You know what else? No fucking wine. Oh, shut up the fuck there up. There must be wine in the cellars. Ew. The Gore's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fuck. Kinroy. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Hi, These assholes. Idiots. He's a had a run in with Walder Frey. Ah, oh, fuck off. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real cursed. shame about your leg, my Who gives a toss? Oh, who gives a toss? What? Well, just... Beat the shit out of you, dude. If I weren't in a fucking weakened state. <coughs> Hello. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> What are you Go doing? Around. Stroking your fucking dick? Move aside, soldier. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. He's and not blocking the entire staircase. But it's the matter of the principle. Oh, great. Let's see how this plays out. Jesus Christ. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs, or this house? <sighs> Move now. Yeah, scare him. Yeah, go on, uh, then. my lord. Yeah, thank you, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Could be the dickhead, you assholes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Dealing for fucking bureaucratic, fucking it's uppity dickholes. You can't starve them out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Hello. I've made it. Roderick. My boy. Come join us. We'll do. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Oh, yeah. Well, you should kind of assume it, you dumb. Oh, fuck! My lord. I caught myself. Don't worry. I'm good. You didn't see that. She looks so much like Catelyn Stark. I mean, the hairdo is the same, and the outfit is pretty similar, so it's just like... Catelyn Stark. It's good. it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Uh, let's get to business. To talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was. The bickering is just so stupid. Sir Roland. No, Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what oh have you done my to get God, him back? shut Nothing. the fuck Nothing. up! Silence! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Absolutely. Apologies, my lord. Yeah, rain it back. The Whitehills have my brother. 
We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. Jeez. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady oh, we'll Elena see. will decide for herself. Exactly. Your betrothed Let's not discount is the, the chance. As we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Uh... He's barely recovered. My betrothed is coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena okay. does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this task. Ah, uh, Jesus. S starve them out. Go hungry. Yes, my lord. <sighs> oh, there's nothing more to discuss. I don't fucking know. Oh, I don't know. Mister, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome Keep back. Keep siding with fucking... Come to be back. Keep siding with the the sentinel guy. Those blue flames, Brother man. last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Don't pressure Ethan her. Ethan always helped me with music. Yeah. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> but thank you. Aww. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Weren't they twins or something uh, to that effect? Or they were just the same age-ish? But I remember the reading the description About on them. Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Well, she's been trying. <sighs> I mean, I pushed Lady Marjorie as far as I could, and that did not work out all the way. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. All right. Uh, large we donation. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. <laughs> uh, but I well, like it. Yeah. They'll be very grateful. Damn straight. I'm presumptuous, but I presume correctly. <laughs> what? And the seal. Here you are. The wax seal of... Marjorie Tyrell. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. <laughs> An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Hmm. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Ah, oh, that kid. 
Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I am. I'm not asking for your help, by the way. You just keep giving it to what me. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. Hmm. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Uh, ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Another favor. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. Hmm. That isn't the way I do things. Oh, because she took that seal. You she knew what she was doing. And you saw the results. Yeah. Didn't turn out too well. I understand. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. She took I'd that seal. She was just like, I'm not Mira, leaving this with we'll you. We'll talk more later. Okay. Can't believe she doesn't trust me. Oh, what are you doing? Don't even. Don't. Don't, don't make. Lady Marjorie. No. Don't. No. 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 Finishing the letter to Sir Maynard. He needs to be here. I'm not doing that. Not doing I'm sorry, that. Roger. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir I pushed it before. Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. Oh, good thing a you love didn't. love letter, perhaps? Oh. Or a declaration of war. Shh. I know you're very busy with... Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family but I was hoping we could talk if you don't mind uh, what about what about well it's we really should get these letters sent first do you need any help with those I've got them okay this is a weird exchange. What's going on right now? Okay, whatever that was. Maybe to see Jon Snow. Want to see Jon Snow? Oh, hey, look at you. Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! Oh, thank you. You might be new here, and you're but big you're dude. in my spot. So move. <laughs> we'll get along fine. Mm. Most of you will be dead. I'll be your bitch. Frostfinger in his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? Why? The wall was erected over why? eight thousand years ago. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some Nordling. He tried to stick me with this. Hmm. That's a pretty cool knife. I was stuck in him instead. Gotcha. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? I got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato thief. <laughs> There's one for the song. <laughs> Oi, my sister was on. I've got something for your sister. I'm not going to say anything. Fucking talk about my sister, all right? They want to talk, they can talk and get caught. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Those two idiots. Is it you, Tuttle? Who was it? Oh, great. <sighs> uh, it's my fault. Sorry. 
sir. It was my fault. Yeah, you better remember what I said. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... We'll die. Hey! I need a word. John Snur. Go on, get started. Been waiting for John to pop up. Wonder what he's up to. Best of luck, Tuttle. Why'd you say it like that, asshole? You all right? Need help? No. Here we go. Again. Bows up. Bows up. Dummies, John Snow up there. All right. Well, they're just. You could demonstrate your combat skills. Um, but which way do I go here? Oh. Uh. Practice dummies. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these. We're like. <gasps> Yeah, dumb shit. Man's ready will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Shot himself in the foot. Jesus. Uh, got it. See, that's how you do it right there. You don't stick it in first. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. I'll try. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. I'll try. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. I know my left from right my right. Right target, chest. Right target, chest. It's a little high. Bad. Center, between the eyes. Center between the eyes. That was a good one. That was a good one right there. You hit all of them. Nicely done. It's because I'm good. You like me, Jon Snow? You want me to be part of, be, be part of your squad? Maybe. I can shoot a crossbow. <clears throat> you dumb. Fucking shot yourself in the foot. Finn I'm thinks he's so bloody clever. If you think you're so bloody he's clever. Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Ah, oh, you... It right off him. Don't tell, all right? Ah, <sighs> you dumbass. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. You're a dumb shit. Fucking ass. Am I demonstrating more of my skill, or am I going to fucking rat on him? Let's do some training here. Take that! Take that! Oh, you bloody top! You grab a practice sword. Okay. Uh, which one do I want here? There's so many of them. I like the. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab this. Look at that. I like the black handle. Arm of you today. Okay, let's go sparring then. His blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you too. All right. <gasps> yeah, you like that? Ugh. Come on, keep at it. I'm trying. Huh? Oh, you don't like that, huh? Huh? Shit. Fuck. Okay. Uh, beep. I'm doing all right so far. Look at that. <laughs> no fool. Thank you, sir. Get off me, you bloody ox! 
He's a big dude. You got lucky. Uh huh. Am I gonna fight him now? Nope. Okay. All done with that. Uh, completed sword trading. And now I leave. Look at logs. Hey, do I even need to look at the logs? Look at the elevator. The wool. What do we got going over here carrying the barrels? Time to lift the barrels. You there, recruit. Yeah. Scrawny, aren't you? A little. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Okay. I'll try. Right. No promises. I can do this. I could do this. Alright, let's do this. Uh, uh. Okay. Hey, you big asshole. Okay. Here we go. Walk it over. It's okay. That's uh, alright. Which way? We, 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 going the, we, going, we going this way or what's the plan here? Can't really steer. Excuse me, sir. This is fucking heavy. Just letting you know that. Alright. Oh, you dickhead! What a dickhead! Fucking. You! Oh my god, that would. That's like such a awkward point of leverage. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Yeah. Jeez. Tuttle has it hard. It's a hard I'm knock life. Steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing is it frozen <sighs> off. Fuck off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. <sighs> Great. Hey, your uh, knife got taken by the fucking, fucking cutter. Shot himself in the foot. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Dick? Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll uh, cut their fucking balls off. Oh, Jesus, I'm not saying shit. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Just relax. <gasps> Calm down. Give, give it knife. back to him, Cutter. I don't have it, I swear. Oh, give it way. back to him, you dumbass. Oh, Got Jesus it. Christ. Just calm down. I'm gonna get decked in the face. I knew it. I knew I was gonna get decked in the face. I won't say it again. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? Hey, you wanna go? Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! There they go again. I'm not fighting! I'm not fighting, you dick! I'm not fighting you! Get the fuck off me, I'm not fucking punching you, dickhead. I'm not doing it! Fuck off! You can beat me all you want! I don't give a shit! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett defended him! No, I didn't! The thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuffle. I didn't do anything. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training, sir. Not I... another word. <laughs> you I tried to round him out. A few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine, let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Off! Oh. Mind your fucking manners. You. You got bitch slapped. Me. Alrighty, yes sir. Right to be with you, Jon Snow. I just took a nice little beating for that. Oh, you little dickhead. Why do you smile at that? I smiled. I got a fucking beating out of that because that asshole fucking took this... Why would I smirk? Oh, you're such a good friend. Oh... This way. 
Ah, great. More secret conversations oh, here. King's Landing in the afternoon. Uh huh. The sun just barely kisses your skin. Alright, just tell me what you're gonna talk about. <laughs> you used to love this place. Yeah, and then it's my fucking prison Remember, now. We'd come listen to the musicians uh, no. in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind. Not on my mind lately. Just through here. Okay. What are you doing? You'll see. Ah, oh, Jesus. Queen Cersei's finest wine. What are you doing? Can I get in league with people who, like, just... Come on, sit down. Aren't stupid? You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Uh, I don't believe you. At all. Not one bit. A little won't hurt. It's Fuck it, no. Wine. Not drinking it. I'm not a dumbass. I fucking work for Marjorie. Suit yourself then. You know how pissed Cersei would be if she found out that fucking Marjorie's handmaiden so, is drinking Maria. her fucking wine? I'm not a dumbass. Yeah, drink up, you dumbass. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. What sort of thing? Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. Not saying shit. Just gonna really, stare Mira, at her. You could say something. Eh, well. Just please, keep it a secret. Don't tell me then! My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. Uh huh. It was a disgrace to her family. Uh huh. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. Mm. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry? I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. <clears throat> <sighs> it's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. <laughs> Family of my own. Have you tried asking yeah, Lady why, Marjorie? Why are you talking to me? It's something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you. I'm not... Hoping that maybe... Sometimes <sighs> when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... No. Suggest she I'm not just fucking asking her favors for she everybody. To win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. <coughs> Mira. And what would I stand to gain if I did No, that? don't Send be an asshole. Do you ever think about anyone besides yourself? I do all the fucking I time. Help. I'm thinking of my family, Sarah. I need to look out for them first. <sighs> no. You're right. Yes, I'm thank sure you. I would want to look after my family too. I'm glad you didn't shit on me for that decision. Are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother, and your father. Yes. You sure you won't have any? Of course you not. Could use a drink. No. Fucking Tyrion. Hmm. A no. Conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies. What have we here? I didn't do if you shit. Need to drink from that flagon. You're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? He's gonna take a swig of it himself. <coughs> Why wouldn't he? <coughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. <laughs> Quite expensive for a handmaiden. 
I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. Sarah took the wine from the cellars. <laughs> you? Threw her under the bus. It's always the quiet ones. I suggest bringing cups next time. Thank you, Tyrion. risks worth taking. Drinking wine stolen from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially I agree. to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Hmm. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. <sighs> Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forest with <laughs> That would be pretty good. It might be the first fun I've had in months. I'm for it. My I'm lady. game. I'm game. Let's go, Tyrion. <laughs> She's like, I'm just gonna fucking drink this. I'm glad she didn't get pissed at me for throwing her under the, the bus there, We've but... been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. <laughs> Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. <laughs> Tyrion. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. To sell Forrester this is Ironwood. This place for a Forrester. I'm here to sell our Ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, if you'll excuse us. <laughs> You're going to dismiss You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Hmm. He Lord says in the Tyrion, most mocking fashion. Let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, At least gentlemen. you have some, some respect there, sir. Your asshole friend does not. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Assume. I have um, a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, Hello. the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. <sighs> you do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. It's the only risk you can take. It's the only option you really have. Tyrion, please help. Please help, Tyrion. I'll consider the arrangement. Thank you. Of course, you. you'd have to do something for me in return. Okay, Don't like? Me. The terms will be fair. Uh. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Okay. Thank you, 
my lord. I don't know what he's gonna this want. Either but... be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your <sighs> sake, I hope it's the former. Yeah. Jesus, my lady, you're kind of creepy, dude. I hope you don't pop up again. The pressures of family. Oh, back to Asher's story, I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah, this game is great. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a fair bit. Just the interwoven stories, and they're all interesting. That's what I like about it. Just like Game of Thrones, except for following kind of one faction as opposed to a bunch of different factions. All right. We're doing some sneaky sneaks here. <sighs> Fuck. This place is pretty cool looking. Ah, uh, great. Up. Oh. Hide, hide, hide. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then. You're coming with us. No. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. Who the fuck are you gonna get? Buy some An unsullied. Army of cell swords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, sure, I can lead them. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. Well, um... What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. Hmm. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> no. I'll make sure of it. Nobody and can hate me. That? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. He'll get it done. I always do. I worried, Malcolm. Well, probably with good cause. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? What? Can't go there. Private conversation time. All right. Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Fine, I trust you. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Great. Hide, 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 hide. Ponte Renas! Find them! Well, let's hope leaving him alive wasn't a bad choice. Oh, no. There's always that one. There's always that one who's just like, What's over there? Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him. Eh, fuck. Stop. Oh, shit. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. Yeah, but does it get you us caught right now? There, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, really. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Uh, let's just get that army. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good lad. All right. Let's Either get we the cross army. the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. We have so many of these just moving pieces trying to help out House Forrester, but what's really helping right now? I mean, everything's going to shit. Everybody has their own plan to save the house, but hopefully it all comes together so it actually works. Oh, if it's that kid again. 
what the fuck is going on. 